What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another Botticera video. In today's video, Botticera version 42 came out a few days ago. So we're going to talk about what's new, what broke, <laughs> and should you update. But you know me, let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. So first things first, this video is going to be in three sections. First thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about what's new. The second thing we're going to talk about is what broke on this machine here. And the third thing we're going to talk about is should you update and the consequences of that. Up first, let's talk about what's new. And as you can already see it on the screen here, we've got the Lindbergh system. That's one of the first and big things that people are excited about. And a number of people have asked me, can I update? Can I update? Can I update? Because they want to play this system here. So. The Lindbergh system is now fully supported with Botticera version 42. Don't get me to lying on all the tech and specs of how they accomplished that, but shout out to the Botticera devs for adding a new collection. Right next to Lindbergh, you can see there is the PlayStation 4 collection. I basically modded a version 41 build so that I can upgrade over the air to version 42. And this is the machine here. And a bunch of stuff is broken, <laughs> so PS4 is one of them. And like I said, we will talk about that in the next section of this video. One random thing that I found while looking through the menus, trying to just see, you know, what's new was in the scraper menu. They've changed it. It looks different now. I don't even know. It's not a big deal at all, but it's just interesting to me that this menu has been altered. Shout out to the devs for doing something new <laughs> with the scraper menu. Now let's head over to the wiki and we will check out what it has to say and I'll give you some highlights on some of the new additions in Botticera version 42. Here we are on the Botticera website and this is the change log. So we'll go down and as you can see, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. Look at, look at it. So it's a nice little list of things to go over, but I'll make it super and simple and sweet and I'll cut out any BS uh, that you probably don't care about. They've moved where the Quake 1 and Quake 2 ROMs go. They changed the directory. So keep an eye out on that if those are the types of games that you're playing. The folder for Sega CD Mega CD ROMs is now called Mega CD to keep consistency like Mega Drive is used, not Genesis. So they changed the folder name for Sega CD. The dreaded remove future pinball. I know a lot of people were not happy about that, but they removed it in favor of visual pinball. You don't, I don't play pinball, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I know that has hurt some people's feelings. Randomly here, sometimes I use an Xbox controller. I haven't really messed around with it too much, but it says some Bluetooth Xbox compatible controllers may need to be reconfigured under emulation station due to the driver change. If you're having issues with Xbox controller, just reconfigure it. Here is all the new hardware that has been added in version 42. They added variable refresh rate. That's interesting for modern AMD GPUs. Oh, I know this was a big one as well. The addition of the Azar 3DS emulator, the addition of the Shad PS4 emulator. That's really awesome to see that they jumped on board so quick. I wish they'd do the same with Switch, but <laughs> trust me when I say I understand why they aren't doing that. <laughs> it also says they have fixed the Xbox compatible Bluetooth controllers not working in Steam. I didn't know about that, but there you go. It says they fixed it. And there's really so, so much going on in this change log. Um, also, and I don't see it exactly here, but I know they did some changes to the Xbox and or Xbox 360 emulator to allow you to be able to choose Vulcan. And I've heard that has helped some people out. Besides that, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here in this change log. I'll leave the link to it in the description if you want to read over it. That is the end of the section here, going over everything new with the V2 Botticera update. Now, this isn't everything new. This is just the stuff that I talked about. I'm not that super technical, super into the every single piece of code guy, and you all know that. <laughs> so there will be some other people that might explain it better, but we're going to get more hands on and I'm going to show you what broke on my machine after using the OTA update to version 42. All right, first up back over on my Botticera machine, PS4. Now, if you've seen my video, there was a way to get the Shad PS4 and PS4 collection on your Botticera machine before version 42 came out. If you had that installed, you might be in for a treat because now the way that PS4 is 
handled, changed, so you would have to rename your games. And on top of that, this could be a one-off situation with this machine, but Shad PS4 will no longer open in F1 applications um, like it does on a stock version of version 42. And the old BUA version of, as you can see there, see it just kicked me back out. The old BUA version will also not open anymore. So we're really, it's just, this is, it's, it's not looking great. And as you can see, I've got two Shad PS4 emulators here and neither one of them work. <laughs> That was the first thing that broke. The second thing that broke was I don't have the desktop mode application anymore. Before I did the update, this machine had the desktop mode add-on. So it completely erased that, which is okay because all I've got to do to get it back is do a simple reinstall of the desktop mode and that will fix that. Continuing along with the theme of stuff that broke but can be fixed, Switch. If you used the B way to install switch, there are two separate scripts that are ran. And the issue is, is they're different for version 41 and version 42. The script automatically checks your Botticera version and chooses the right one. But because I was on 41, it chose to install 41, obviously. But because I did the over the air update to version 42, it completely broke switch, kind of like how it broke the native desktop. But in order to get switch working, all I had to do was go in and rerun the script. Um, and then the script automatically picked up, hey, I'm on version 42, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> so anyways yeah switch in native desktop mode easy fixes as far as the ps4 and shad ps4 situation i have no idea what i'm gonna do about that i've tried to mess around with it and i just i couldn't get it working it's it's really a shame now i told you about all the stuff that was broken after updating but let me tell you about the stuff some of the stuff that still works. some add-ons that are still working for example are java j2me it still worked perfectly fine after updating, no issues. It might even be working faster than before. Other add-ons such as Firefox open perfectly fine. And the new RGSX games downloader application, as you can see here on the screen now, it's still fully functional. So the RGSX application still worked perfectly fine even after updating about Sarah version 42. Other add-ons like Chrome, YouTube, Spotify, etc. All of those are still working perfectly fine. Now I talked about what's new. I talked about what broke, what didn't break. Let's talk about should you update? And a lot of people are not going to like this. So first up, if you have an RGS Botticera builds, you need to wait until the RGS and Team Pixin team releases the Verti 2 42 version of their script so that you can pixelate or pixin. I don't know their term. <laughs> so you can RGSify your Botticera machine. So if you're running RGS version, you've got to wait anyways. So we'll get you, we got you to the side. Now, if you have the BUA installed, which still works perfectly fine after an update, by the way, forgot to mention that. If you have the BUA installed and you have a bunch of applications installed, you've got the desktop mode, you've got Shad PS4, Switch, you know, all this, all these different things. What I would do in, if I was in your shoes and I didn't want to have to deal with a bunch of mess and a bunch of troubleshooting, I would back up my themes, back up my saves, back up my ROMs, anything that I could think to back up, um, make a backup of that, and then do a fresh install of Botticera 42. Because the thing is, all of the applications that we've talked about today are still working fine in Botticera 42, just not a Botticera 41 updated to 42, if that makes sense. So if you're on a fresh version of Botticera 42, then you can install all the BUA applications that you would like, um, including the desktop mode, including, you know, anything. Like I said, that's my personal suggestion to you. Now, if you would like, you can update. I can't stop you from doing that. If you're like, hey, I don't have the desktop mode. I don't have all this stuff. I just have Chrome. I just have, you know, Mozilla Firefox. Or, or YouTube or whatever, then you go ahead. You you can update, you're fine. This will really be on a per person basis, depending on your knowledge and skill level and depending on how modified is your system really. The more modified, 
the more likely that I will tell you that you need to fresh install and just copy over those ROM saves and themes. <laughs> and then it gives you something to do. Now you can spend a couple days, weeks, or months redoing all the modifications to your Potosera machine. I know I'm laughing, but I understand that people are going to be really upset. I'll tell you one thing that my buddy from Rapsters Hangout told me. If the update didn't break anything, then they didn't really change anything. <laughs> and I really like that because if the update, everything still worked fine, then that means that there's no new innovations. There's no, no there's nothing changing. So now that we've got all that out of the way, I will say that version 42 does seem really promising. And of course, the new systems that I've been showing off in the background while I've been talking. <laughs> Ah, anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to actually do some more videos and some more testing with unofficial add-ons, Botticera 42, and, and much, much more. But if you like what you saw, give me a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe. Come on. All right. All right. I'll catch you in the next video.